Hi, this is Tom Johnson at I'd rather be writing.com. And today I'm going to give a quick tutorial or explanation of integrating a blog into your website. And the, the most common request I get is somebody has a static site. This is an example here of a project I was recently working on. They've got a static HTML site and they suddenly realize, hey, I need a blog. I need some way to make this. Uh, some way to integrate a blog and I want it to look exactly like my existing site. So usually the people say, can you make a blog to match my site? And I'm like, sure, but wouldn't it be better to just move all of your content into WordPress? So here's that same site, but this is completely WordPress driven. Rather than just having a blog part down here, which of course I put in, um, the entire site is driven by WordPress, and in this screencast, I'm gonna I'm gonna explain the benefits of doing it like this. First of all, let's say you're on the home page or whatever page with WordPress. Um, well, I'm not even logged in. Let me log in here. Okay, so once I'm logged into the site, I'll go back to the home page. I'm going to see a little edit link at the bottom of each page. Now notice this edit link only appears if I'm logged in. But it makes it super simple. Uh, looks like I was working on that somewhere else. Super simple to make updates to this content. And it, it can switch between HTML and visual and so forth. Now what's really cool about that is you can empower people who usually don't do web stuff. For example, a cafe staff or something. You can say, hey look, come in here go in and update the menu for this week by clicking this little edit button. Another great benefit is that you can now manage all of the, these menu items directly within WordPress. So let me come back into the back end here and I'm gonna go to well another benefit is is complete web management of everything here but uh, I'm gonna go to menus under appearance and here this lets me uh, manage all of the menu items. Um, if you remember, let me open up a new tab here. If you remember, this whole thing here is a bunch of menu items as well as this. And you can manage this. You can add whatever pages you want. You can change these around. This is all drag and drop. Um, you can switch to the other navigation and make those adjustments. So it's very easy. You can change things. You can change the names of these however you want. Uh, another benefit is search. Uh, if I had just put the blog in a subdirectory, the search wouldn't be comprehensive. But now, for example, if I search for hospital, it's going to search all of this page content, right? So it's much more comprehensive in scope. This theme has kind of a special thing. Notice this banner, which is kind of heavy for an image, but uh. It, it sometimes changes depending, whoops, something's not working. Ah, there we go. See, notice how it changed based on this page. Well, let's say that I wanted, this is actually a plugin. Uh, you can easily manage that, this. Um, so down here at the bottom, this is called the Nicasio dynamic header. I can just choose whatever image I want for that banner makes it super simple. Now you'll also notice that that page actually just had a couple of tables. Tables are pretty simple in WordPress if you use a, a WP Reloaded plugin. So rather than kind of manually coding this, which would be a nightmare, especially if you didn't understand HTML code with tables or divs and CSS and so forth, they just come in here and you can update each of these little table cells. It makes it a lot simpler. So overall, now also one last thing I'll show. I want to keep this screencast somewhat short. But you'll notice that at the bottom there's kind of this template about a mission statement. Well, you don't have to code that on each page. You can come in here and for my page template, um, I've actually got it defined at the bottom of the page template. So right here. So this template then it's what is what is used for each of the pages throughout the site. So 
there are a lot of benefits to using WordPress as a, as a content management system. I mean, the overall benefit, perhaps, is that you've centralized everything. You no longer have two separate systems. You're not working in Dreamweaver and using FTP to upload your content. You can just manage everything from the web interface. And you can take advantage of plugins and other themes and other good things to just make life simpler for you. So I'm Tom Johnson at I'd rather be writing .com. If you're interested in having me create a WordPress version of your website or just interested in having me create a blog to accompany your site, contact me at tom at I'd rather be writing .com.